Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be mainly focusing on preparing a series of videos on how to become TOGAP 9 certified and going beyond that. So this is my first video in the series and I wish to welcome one and all, especially those of you who will be watching this video from different time zones. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Okay, what I'm planning to achieve here is in the next several videos, I'll be providing you as much information as I can on how to start preparing yourself for the TOGAF 9.x. The reason I'm mentioning 9.x is very recently, just couple of days, TOGAF open group released the 9.2 version. In the near future videos, I'll be talking about them as well. So to begin with, I want to focus on how to become certified. So in today's topic, I'll be focusing on the basics of TOGAP certification, exam related information and the learning format. So the way it goes is in the next few slides, I will run through the TOGAP certification details and overview of it, the various exam levels it has and who is the target audience. As well, we will look at the exam related information, you know, how many types of exams does make up the TOGAF certification and what are those key topic areas from each certification and what is the passing percentage. And finally, in today's topic, I will touch base upon the learning format. What is the best way to go about and start preparing yourself? So let's get started. Before we go into the details, I would like to provide a brief introduction about self, Satish Biali. I bring with me around 22 years of technology leadership experience in various industries. As you can see, here I had been primarily working in the food processing, access equipment, healthcare, oil and gas, manufacturing, etc. As part of this experience, I have worked upon various roles such as enterprise architect, solution architect, integration architect and technology architect. And these are all the certifications I hold currently namely I'm TOGAF 9.1 certified from last six plus years, Archimate 2.1 from last three plus years, Zachman certified from last three plus years, PMP and Scrum from last six years. And these are some of the trainings which I'm currently involved in. I do provide TOGAF 9.1, Archimate, General Enterprise Solution Architecture, Service Oriented Architecture, Agile, DevOps, UML and PML. I'm an accredited trainer, mentor and as a consultant. These are the focus areas which I'm currently involved in, mainly to talk about enterprise architecture, solution integration, so on, digital transformations, cloud computing and project management and DevOps. Okay, so let's get started. What you can expect from today's session? As I briefly mentioned a while ago, let us first start looking at the TOGAF certification, the overview of the certification and what is its main purpose? What are the different levels TOGAF certification provides? Who is the target audience for these certifications? And then exam related information, the various types of exams the certification provides, topic areas, and then for each exam passing percentage. And finally, we will look at the learning for Format. What I mean is from the conformance requirements, what does TOGAF provide us and an approach how to go about and start reading the material. Especially in this particular topic, I will provide you some key ways of reading the material. Okay, so please be ready for it. Okay, first and foremost, let us look at the TOGAF certification overview. The certification itself is for people program. What this means is it is driven by the people, by various organizations who look at the certification program and based upon the current industry trends practices they keep on providing feedback to the open group and the certification gets updates okay and what is the main objective the objective of TOGAV certification is for individuals who have knowledge and understanding of the standard so let us take a moment TOGAF 9 is a standard from Open Group. Okay. Open Group is an organization who is standing behind the TOGAF standard who will ensure that the certification is kept up to date as per the industry trends. Now another key aspect of the certification is the certification is not, it is not intended to validate the ability of the candidate whether he or she is capable of using the TOGAF standard. The objective here is to ensure the individual they are knowledgeable about the TOGAF standard. It provides a common basis for the knowledge and as you get certified it provides a visible trust mark. At this moment what I would like you to do is let us visit the open group website and let us see what documents we need to download and what are the different ways we can download the, the standard the 9.1 standard or what is commonly known as the specification. Okay. So you can look for keyword TOGAF 9.1 online. 
this will particularly take you to the HTML version of the specification okay at the end of this video what I will do is I will share the link I will share the link in the YouTube descri description so that you can refer to it and do as per my instructions by searching TOGAF 9.1 online document and this is where you will be able to see the entire specification available online for access the entire specification okay and you don't have to register for this you can just start referring to it now there are other ways to use the specification you can look for TOGAF 9.1 PDF and click on this particular link download as you can see here you will be downloading the TOGAF specification as a non-member later I will explain the difference between a non-member and a member but currently you will be downloading it as a non-member now this particular download is a 90 days evaluation version it's a 90 days evaluation evaluation version you will download it after registering with open group it is a one-time registration okay I highly recommend you to register with open group because as we move along these video series I will be asking you to refer download various material from open group for every download what you make on the open group it will ask you to use your login credentials so when you log in after registering and download the 90 days evaluation is what you get a PDF of something similar okay now if you pay attention it's a TOGAF version 9.1 and what you see here it says evaluation copy okay I just downloaded it about five minutes ago just to demonstrate how does it looks like okay evaluation copy and as you can see here it says evaluation copy again there are other ways wherein you can purchase a PDF version which is as shown here the one which I just opened up here and as you can see it is a, a personal PDF edition okay? it's a personal PDF edition also open group sells the TOGAF 9.1 specification in the format of soft book as well as a hard covered book okay as a soft covered book as well as a hard covered book okay we will come back to the specification in a short while let's continue from here so in this particular slide what we just looked at is the overview and the purpose of TOGAP certification okay let us move along how many types of certification does TOGAF provides us okay it provides us with two levels level 1 and level 2 when you achieve level 1 you are certified at a foundation level and it is a prerequisite to attempt the next level of certification and when you complete level 2 you will be known as TOGAF 9 certified so level 1 corresponds to part 1 level 2 corresponds to part 2 okay what I mean here is foundation certification or level 1 or part 1 okay it means one and the same similarly certified level 2 as well as part 2 okay let's continue <clears throat> now who is the target audience for foundation type level as it says the certification itself is at the foundation level so it is for those individuals 
those professionals who want to get the basic understanding of the specification okay they want to get the a very basic understanding of it also it is for those individuals or professionals who are currently working as an associate as part of the project an architecture project and who are responsible for certain activities but their primary role is working as an associate also it is for an architect okay who wants to get the first level or the first introduction to the standard who doesn't know anything about the standard and who wants to learn about it okay those are the folks who can come and do the foundation level and of course those architects who wants to move from foundation level to the next level okay level 2 on the similar lines the certified this should be level 2 certified level 2 it's for those individuals who require a deeper understanding look at the difference basic understanding and deeper understanding of the togaf standard and it is for those professionals whose organization in some shape and form they are already using the togaf 9 standard okay it is for those architects who are responsible for developing architectural artifacts who are responsible to develop and deliver some kind of ar architecture artifacts it is for them who wants to introduce the specification the standard as part of their architecture practice okay and of course who wants to achieve the recognized qualification the certification itself okay wherein they can demonstrate that they know the language as well as they are well versed with the knowledge of the standard okay just a small correction here just to make a note this is not level 1 it should be level 2 okay let's move along so from exam perspective again in my next video i'll be talking more about the exam related information but at this moment we have three different types of exams what you can attempt togaf 9 part 1 remember i mentioned this as foundation togaf part 2 which is a prerequisite and once you achieve part 2 you are known as certified and then of course togaf 9 which is combined part 1 and part 2 okay in my next video i'll be talking and sharing lot of information about what do we mean by combined but at this moment you can just attempt part 1 and become foundational certified you can attempt part 2 after successfully passing part 1 and become certified or you can attempt both part 1 and part 2 in one go and become certified okay so let's move along as part of level 1 topics okay this is the exam related information the next topic level 1 topics it is made up of 11 different topics it is made up of 11 different topics as we move along in my next videos i'll be going deeper into each of these topics what it means how it fits into the structure etc but at this moment understand it makes up of 11 topics for part 1 and if you add up all these questions for each topics you come up with 40 questions so what it means is level 1 foundational is made up of 11 topics which is of 40 questions okay on the same lines what about level 2 level 2 topics it is made up of 8 questions from all the different topics which you just saw in level 1 each question carries 5 points each question carries 5 points 5 points into 8 questions again 40 points 
So we will look later deeper into each of these topics. At this moment understand level 2 is made up of 8 complex scenario based questions. Okay now I was able to explain you at a very high level the levels, the topics for each levels and the number of questions. What about the passing percentage? For level 1 which is also known as part 1 you must at least score 55 percentage that is at least 22 out of 40 questions should be correct. This is the passing score. On the same lines for part 2 which is also level 2 60 percent which is 24 points minimum of 40 should you must achieve to pass the part 2 level. The same principle applies of part 1 and part 2 achieving 55 minimum 60 minimum respectively for combined. The only difference is it is a single examination. You go sit take one exam you do both part 1 followed by part 2 and then get certified. Okay, As I promised in my next video I will be sharing more details about what is combined exam about. Okay, for now the last piece of the puzzle. What is the best way to study the specification? If you go and look at the specification, the PDF which we just downloaded, okay, it is made up of 692 pages. It is made up of 692 pages of specification which makes up of various parts of the specification of the standard. So here is the key to it. Here is the secret key. I would ask you to download this particular conformance requirement. It is a PDF document and when you download this document, this document makes up of four parts. Okay, for both level 1 and also level 2. I will show you how to read the document okay, as well as cross reference the specification. The first part is the unit name, second one is purpose, third one is KLP. Okay, What is KLP? KLP stands for key learning point and the last one is learning outcome. Unit name, it's a descriptive name of a particular learning unit, purpose, a brief statement of a particular learning unit. A key learning point it provides a reference to the specification okay the 692 pages document and the learning outcome is what is expected out of you as an individual what is that you should know about. Okay so let's do this okay let's jump into the specification what I'm doing is I'm just clicking on to that which will take me to the specification here is a specification in front of me at this moment. Okay, So it's a PDF document. What you should do is how to read about the document. Remember what did I mention about? Provides you the requirements how to read for both level 1 and level 2. As you can see there is separate section for level 1 syllabus and separate section for level 2 syllabus. Okay. Again what I will do is I will provide this particular link to the PDF into the YouTube description. Now what is more important to understand here is let's take an example. Now remember I did talk about each level is made up of several subunits or topics. So let's see what is that you as a candidate should understand from a particular type topic. Okay, I am just taking an example of basic concepts. Let's go to basic concepts. Now if you pay attention here, level 1 syllabus, basic concepts, remember as per the presentation it is made up of 4 parts, unit, purpose, KLP reference, learning outcome. Now if you want to read from the specification about the basic concepts, okay, what is that you as a candidate should know? You should know 
you should be able to describe what is an enterprise okay now what that means that particular definition or a brief description is available here as part of KLP 1.2 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 is basically the subunit of it okay but at this moment just focus on KLP 1.2 and what you should do is you should go back to the specification okay and you should look for 1.2 1.2 now if you come back and look at the specification I did ask you to reference KLP 1.2 and it says describe what is an enterprise so if you come and read this particular section of the document you are as good as satisfying the need of basic concepts okay let us do one more example let's say you want to read core concepts and I'm picking randomly let's say the fourth one the architecture repository what you should do you should go to 2.7 again at this moment don't worry about hyphen 1 but focus on 2.7 KLP 2.7 to understand architecture repository so what you will do you will go here 2.7 2.7 architecture repository if you read this particular section of the document it is as good as you are able to accomplish the core concepts part of it okay I hope this is very useful for you to start downloading the document and start reading them okay just to summarize what did we do we looked at the conformance requirements and then as an example I did provide how to read about the basic concepts and the core concepts we did to take some example you can apply the same principle to read any topic from here let us come back to our presentation so what did we learn so far let's quickly review today's session what I was able to achieve is I was able to provide you a brief introduction to TOGAP certification okay the certifications overview and its purpose the levels of certifications and for each level the target audience and then the next topic which we did see is the exam related information okay the topics for each exam and the passing percentage and then the conformance requirement the PDF document how to read and start preparing for the certification okay so as I mentioned this is my first video providing you an introduction to the TOGAF certification how to not only prepare yourself for TOGAF certification get certified as well as learn beyond that I'll be sharing a lot of my own experience in this particular field last but not least what you can expect from me in the next video in my next video we will take a deeper look at each type of exam in detail the various paths to the certification I will also describe what do we mean by the closed book versus open book for each type of certification how to book your exam once you complete the training and you have the exam voucher okay you should be able to successfully book the exam with an exam provider if in case if you did not pass through the examination what is the certification retake policy we can look at that and finally once you're able to successfully complete the certification what are those next steps you should be able to accomplish so that brings up today's session so before we depart I would ask you to take this moment and an opportunity to like this video to share it with your friends comments are always welcome and of course please subscribe to my channel okay Thank you once again. Until next time, you all have a good day, good afternoon and good evening. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.